How to install the HP DesignJet Z6 and Z9 Plus printer series. The printer that we are going to show in this video is the HP DesignJet Z9 Plus 24 inches. These assembly instructions explain how to assemble the HP DesignJet Z6 and Z9 Plus printer series. Recommendations before starting. Because the product is heavy, you may need three people to unpack it. Print head alignment requires paper at least 21 inches wide for Z9 Plus, and 16 inches for Z6 printers roll paper is recommended. You need LAN connection to connect the printer to the internet. Roll paper and LAN cables are not included. Locate the stand pieces and remove them from the packaging. To assemble the printer, you will need the following pieces. One right and left foots. One right and left legs. One cross brace and basket frame. One screwdriver and multiple screws. Ink cartridges and print heads. In case Z6 printer, six ink cartridges and three print heads. Before heading ahead, into the video in case you are facing any issue with your Netgear range extender device, get in touch with our Netgear experts. In case Z9 Plus, nine ink cartridges and five print heads. Mandatory USB firmware upgrade. Depending on the serial number of your printer, it may include one USB. Setup poster. One power cable. One LAN cable. One roll of paper. If you are installing a Z6 C9 Plus 44 inches, you also will have a crossbar. Do not remove the orange tape from the wheels. Attach one foot to a leg with eight screws. Use eight screws for each leg. Repeat the process for the other foot and leg. Place the cross brace on the table with the letters L and R facing up. The stickers on the legs match the letter on the leg with the letter on the cross brace. Match R with R and L with L. Attach a leg onto the cross brace as shown. Fix the leg to the cross brace with three screws at the inner face of the leg. Do not fully tighten them. Attach the outside of the leg to the cross brace with two screws. Repeat the process with the other leg. Attach the other leg onto the cross brace making sure that basket supports located on the feet, one on each foot, are on the same side. The stickers on the legs match the letter on the leg with the letter on the cross brace. Match R with R and L with L. Place the leg into the slot. If you have a 44-inch printer you will also need to assemble the crossbar between the legs. Turn the stand upright to 180 degrees. Fully tighten all the stand S screws. At this point 6 spare screws for the Z9 plus 24 inches printer, and 2 spare screws should remain for the Z9 plus 44. Make sure there is nothing on the top of the printer body before continuing. In order to attach the stand assembly, carefully turn the printer 180 degrees so the bottom is facing upwards. You may need a third person. Remove all the tapes from the film, then remove the tray and box. HP recommends having two people unpack it. Remove the plastics and small flaps. Do not remove the foam end pieces. Remove the tape from the transparent covering that protects the product and open it. Remove the desiccant bag from the top of the product.
there is a round yellow button protruding from the top of one stand leg, and a square green button protruding from the top of the other leg. Before heading ahead, into the video in case you are facing any issue, with your Netgear range extender device, get in touch with our Netgear experts. Each button fits into a hole in the product. Place the stand on the product slowly and carefully, so that the colored buttons on the legs fit into the corresponding holes in the product. Make sure there is nothing on top of the printer body before continuing. Locate the four black screws. Fix the printer to the stand from underneath with the four black screws. Check that the wheels on the stand are locked. Rotate the product 90 degrees. While you rotate, keep the roll feeds face down, you may need a third person. Hold the product by the foam end pieces and rotate it until it stands on its feet, with all four wheels in contact with the floor. Remove the foam end pieces. Remove the transparent covering from the product. Remove the tape from the stand and unfold the fabric. Pass the fabric though to the front of the printer and the insert the frame. Clip the basket frame to the feet. Press firmly until it clicks into place. The basket is now complete. Set up the printer. Remove the orange tape pieces from the product. Except for the ones coming from inside the product. If you have a HP Design Jet Z6 or Z9 Plus with vertical trimmer, open the vertical trimmer S cover and confirm that the modules are located on the bar. Open the top window cover. You will see a cardboard support attached to the product with tape. Remove the tape. Turn the cardboard support 90 degrees to the right. Be careful. Avoid hitting the bells. Carefully lift the cardboard support up and out of the product and discard it. Inside the right hand side of the printer, remove the stopper and discard it. Remove the orange tape and unlock the wheels. Move the printer to its destination. Connect the network cable. Connect the power cable to the printer, and the outlet. Switch the printer on. On the front panel, the HP logo appears. You will be prompted to select the language of the product. Before heading ahead, into the video in case you are facing any issue, with your Netgear range extender device, get in touch with our Netgear experts. If you find a USB flash drive in a plastic bag inside of the box, it contains the latest firmware. Please follow the instructions in the bag, otherwise please ignore this step. The USB drive is only needed in some units. At this point, the front panel will ask you to install the gloss enhancer kit. If you don't have it, ignore this step. If you have a kit, Please follow this link and check the video to continue with the print head and cartridge setup. Set up the print head and cartridges. 
If your printer is a HP Design Jet Z9 Plus you will find 9 ink cartridges and 5 print heads. If your printer is a HP Design Jet Z6 you will find 6 ink cartridges and 3 print heads. Open both the left hand and right hand side ink cartridge covers. If your printer is a Z6 you will only use the right hand side ink cartridge cover. When prompted by the front panel insert the ink cartridges. Insert the ink cartridges one by one. Each cartridge is marked with its own color and should be inserted only into the slot of the same color. Avoid touching pins, leads or circuits. The ink outlet in the cartridge should meet the ink inlet in the slot. Push the cartridge into the slot until it clicks into place. Close the ink cartridge cover. Repeat the same process with the right side of the printer. The printer now prepares the ink system. This process takes around 10 minutes. When the ink system is ready, the front panel will prompt you to open the window and print head cover. Open the window. Remove the label from the print head carriage and pull the blue print head cover handle up and towards you to release the latch. Push the handle back to raise the lid to access the setup print heads. Look at each setup print head to verify that it has ink inside. The setup print head only purpose is to prevent ink loss during ink cartridge installation. Remove and discard all the setup print heads. You may need to use force to extract each print head. The setup print heads contain ink, which could leak out. Avoid touching pins, leads or circuits. When all the setup print heads have been removed, press next on the front panel. The front panel prompts you to install the new print heads. Unwrap each print head and remove all orange parts. The print head is designed to be inserted into any available slot, but, once the print head is inserted into a slot it will only work with that combination of colors. Insert the print heads one by one. Push each print head into the slot until it clicks into place. It is important to mark each print head with a specific color combination to be used. Pull the handle down to close the cover. Ensure that the end of the blue handle catches the wire loop on the near side of the carriage. Lower the handle to rest on the carriage cover. Close the top cover. Once the printhead check has finished the product will be ready to load paper for the printhead alignment. When prompted by the front panel about the printhead alignment, use the spindle to load paper at the printer. Calibration requires paper at least 21 inches wide. If the blue removable stop is on the spindle, remove it. Load the roll onto the spindle. Add the removable stop to the spindle to keep the roll in place. Push the removable stop towards the roll as far as it will go. No gap should be left between stop and paper. At the front of the printer place the spindle into the product. Feed the leading edge of the paper into the product until the product takes hold of it. Do not insert the roll paper into the cut sheet slot. Do not close the roll cover until the front panel notifies you. The printer calibrates the media advance. If you have a HP Design Jet Z6 or Z9 Plus with vertical trimmer, two media advance calibration plots will be printed. The connectivity wizard will now start and take you step by step through connecting your printer to the internet. Follow the instructions. Take note of the printer's email address for email printing.
Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our videos, and in the case face any problem get in touch with the experts.